Welcome, beloved viewers, to Science and Spirituality on Supreme Master Television. Reincarnation is a concept discussed in numerous religious and spiritual texts. The famous 20th century American psychic Edgar Cayce once said, We have lived and died many times. The reason we don't remember our former lives is because our vast soul memories are not transferred to our baby brains at birth. There have also been many accounts from those who have had near-death experiences regarding having seen their past lives while outside this physical realm. This week on our program, the first in a three-part interview with her, we speak with American psychic researcher Dolores Cannon. Ms. Cannon has carried out extensive work in the field of paranormal research and is a well-regarded lecturer on accessing past life knowledge, the meaning of the year 2012, and the works of ancient French clairvoyant Nostradamus. She travels around the world holding seminars and workshops focusing on these and other psychic related topics. Through working with her clients to remember their past lives, Dolores Cannon says she has learned many of the secrets of creation as well as how our universe functions. To date, she is the author of many books, including Keepers of the Garden, Conversations with Nostradamus, and The Convoluted Universe. I started in the 1960s. During that time, uh, my husband was in the Navy, and the Navy doctor asked me to work with a client. He said, can you just get her to relax? That's all he wanted us to do. Instead, during the relaxation part and the normal hypnosis, she went back to a past life in the Roaring Twenties in Chicago. In those days, there was no such thing as past life regression. Nobody knew anything about reincarnation. Nobody knew anything about it. So people say I was kind of like a pioneer because we'd never heard of it either. When I pump on something I don't understand, instead of being afraid and back off, I always want to know more. So we kept working with this woman, just out of curiosity, and she went back through five different lifetimes to when she was created by God. And that was quite an astounding. Uh, we had people coming to the house to listen to the tape recorders. We had the portable tape recorder of the day, which was those great big machines with the big reel-to-reel. -reel. People were coming to the house to hear the latest thing, past life regression, what do you mean? We've lived before. So it was opening a lot of people's eyes and changing a lot of their belief systems at that time. The unconscious mind acts like a recording system, which stores every event that takes place during our lifetimes. A past life regression therapist attempts to use hypnosis to connect people to memories of events that occurred during their previous lifetimes. Those who choose to undergo the therapy are often seeking answers to unresolved emotional, physical or psychological issues that may have origins in a previous life. Many spiritual masters have reminded us how karma, whether good or bad, accumulated in our past lives affect us in our present day lives. One consequence of wrong conduct in a previous life may be that the person faces a serious illness in the present one. It's what hundreds and hundreds of people have discovered going through the death experience in the past life. Mm -hmm. And they all report the same thing. They all go to the same places on the other side. And there is no punishment. There's nobody sitting up there ready to strike you down. But you judge yourself. And there's no harsher judge than you yourself. So everything in your life you have put there and you've created. So you create the illness too, mm -hmm. to teach you something. And it'll start off slowly and subtly with just little things. And if you don't get those hints, little things, and you don't get a little worse and a little worse, and if you don't understand it, then a little more pain, and then maybe a little more pain till finally it develops into something that can be a disease or an illness. You have to go to the hospital or have surgery. The Holy Bible's Book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 7, states, For as he thinks within himself, so he is. In other words, one's thoughts are powerful and can change us and our future. You're really a very powerful being. 
but you don't realize when you come to earth you forget all of that and we have access to this part all the time but we ignore it all the information I've written about it comes through my clients it doesn't come through me one of the main lessons you come to earth to learn is how to manipulate energy everything is energy and you come to earth to learn how to manipulate that, to be a master manifester. So once you learn how to manipulate energy, you can have anything you want. Nothing is impossible. They say there are no limitations, except the limitations you put upon yourself. First, you have to know what you want. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say, well, I, I need this, I want this. Those are the wrong words. Uh -huh. In creating your reality, if you say, I need, I want, well, see, you're creating a lack. And you're putting it off by, I want it. No, the wording is, I have it. And you've got to believe it. And it's the law of the universe called the law of abundance, the law of attraction. You can have anything you want once you know what it is. And that's what I do. I just say, okay, guys, this is the next project. Do it. And it happens, now everything is happening so fast. Used to take months to get something. Now it'll happen in a matter of days, in a matter of hours, and they say even second by second. Once you have put it out there, the, the main goal, the objective, you have to be able to visualize that goal too, what you really want, and be able to fill it full of a lot of details. This makes it become real. But once you put it out there, then people say, okay, now how am I going to do it? Don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about, I have to do this and this and this to attain that goal. Mm -hmm. Because then you're limiting them. Mm -hmm. It'll happen in ways you can't possibly imagine. Ways you would never, ever think about. It just occurs. That's why we say we sit back and watch the magic. A great enlightened master of the East, Gautama Buddha once said, All that we are is the result of what we have thought. The mind is everything. What we think, we become. You realize the power of your own mind, too. I get so many clients who are into the victim mode. Right. Woe is me, poor me, everything happens to me, everything is dumped on me. They don't realize they're doing it to themselves. But um, you have, to, you have to have an idea of what it is you want before you can create it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you have the whole world. Right. Everything is out there. There are no limitations, but they got to know. Mm -hmm. If you're vague, they're vague, and they'll just give you anything. Mm -hmm. And you'll say, well, I think that's what they want. We're not sure. <laughs> and then you get it, and you say, well, that's not what I wanted. Well, you didn't ask the right questions. You didn't tell them specifically what it was you were looking for. You should know what it is you want, what you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. The long-term goal and maybe the short-term goals along the way. Whatever it is, you visualize it and picture it. Because if you can see it in your mind is already done, already happened, it must occur. That's the law of the universe. We learn also from the Holy Bible and other sacred scriptures that all humans are created by God in His likeness. The book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6, reads, You are gods. You are all sons or children of the Most High. Since we are created in God's image, we are also endowed with godlike qualities. Indeed, our true self is that which represents heavenly nature. However, some of us tend to forget the inherent love, wisdom, and source of great blessings that we have during our sojourn here on Earth. You're they're way, way above angels. Angels and guides have their place. They're very valuable mm -hmm. because everyone has at least one guardian angel, guide, whatever you want to call it. Everyone has at least one assigned to you when you're born. They have to be with you your entire life. That's their assignment. They're there to help you. People are always saying, oh, I'm all alone. You're never, ever alone. They're with you all the time. And they want to help you. But they've told me, if you don't ask for our assistance, we have no one to assist. You have to ask. They can't interfere with your free will. 
So the angels and the guardians have a big important part. But what we're dealing with is way, way above that. Mm. It's a huge source. There are no limitations at all. So why not work with something that powerful? Thank you, Ms. Dolores Cannon, for sharing with us knowledge about the universe and spiritual worlds that you have gained from your work in past life regression. The information you have presented further demonstrates the workings of such fundamental spiritual principles such as reincarnation. For more details on Dolores Cannon, please visit www.ozarkmt.com. Books, DVDs, and CDs by Ms. Cannon are available at the same website. Respected viewers, please join us next Monday on Science and Spirituality, where Dolores Cannon will speak about Nostradamus and the meaning of year 2012. Thank you for your presence today on our program. Coming up next is Words of Wisdom after noteworthy news. May we all soon discover our true self-nature. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.